The wheel says, man, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. It is the third time you have had the wheel of fortune in this spread. It is time. Three wheel of fortunes, the star, the high priestess in reverse, death in reverse twice, the world, the ten of pentacles. I mean, what more do you want? Spirit wants to give you the desires of your heart, but your ego is holding on to something that shoulda, coulda, woulda, but isn't meant to be or wasn't at that time. The Wheel of Fortune says there's a turning point and it's justice. It's justice for your life. It's justice for this situation. Hey, everybody. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's up? How are you? How is the collective out there? I hope to find everyone doing well. Um, there's been some trying planetary positions lately, and quite frankly, the whole world has just lost its freaking mind. So um, it's been it's been um, feely kind of six weeks or so. It has. It's been a feely kind of six weeks. So we're going to throw down some cards. We're going to see what is going on for the collective. Okay, what is the message? What does spirit? want you to know and understand and there's something happening and we're going to get to the bottom of it okay um what it is remains to be seen i have no idea i'm not gonna i can ask till i'm blue in the face for the cards to give me a love reading and they're just going to tell me whatever it is that i need to know that's just the way it works for me i'm a channeler and i just can't like bust out my reading of choice so we're going to jump into some cards. We're going to jump into some cards. If you're coming back to see me, namaste, friends. Come on in. Scooch up to this table right here. If you are new to the channel, come on in. Join the tribe. Scooch up to this table. All y'all, get comfy. Put your feet up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put your earbuds in. Cast it up on a big screen if you want to. Hunker down and get ready because we are going to, um, we're going to read some, um, tarot cards that are going to hopefully enlighten you as to the path that you should be going towards. If this reading resonates with you, then it's for you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not for you. It's just that simple. Okay. All right, guys. All right, so it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you. I'm going to sew together a story. If the clarification process gets too long or too in-depth, I will simply fast forward that portion of the video and we will pick up right where we left off, okay? And I will read you the story that I sew together. So you all just sit back, hunker down, relax. Meditate with me in my prayer, okay? Meditate with me in my prayer, and let's do this. Spirit, source, universal energy. What do you want us to know? What do we need to know? Spirit, what do we need to know? Whomever it is that this reading is for, what do they need to know? What do I need to know? What do we all need to know, Spirit? What is it? that the message is. Please give me the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the wisdom to understand what it is that you're saying in these cards. Spirit. Who needs to know what, where, when, why, and how, Spirit? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. What is it that they need to know? Whomever needs to know whatever, Spirit. Please use me as a clean and clear vessel. Where is the stopping point right there? Okay. All right. Let's cut them three times and see who needs to hear something, something. Ready? One, two, three. Interesting. The moon in reverse with judgment behind it. Interesting. And we'll go one, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the lovers in reverse. Lovers in reverse. Huh. 
Let's see what we got here. First card out the box is, these are my clarifying cards. First card out the box is the Three of Wands. This is having some foresight. It's preparing, it's getting ready. It's partnerships and alliances. Prince of Wands in reverse is um, frustrations, delays. The Seven of Wands in reverse is um, feeling overwhelmed. The Fool in reverse, foolish, naive, reckless. To the Queen of Swords, some kind of a decision. The King of Wands in reverse, perhaps a lack of success. To the Seven of Pentacles, planning, thinking, Motivations, observations, discoveries, and look at that, the Wheel of Fortune in the center of your reading. The Eight of Cups in reverse, talking about um, emotional abandonment, emotional withdrawal, walking the fuck away from something. Two, the Hierophant in reverse, maybe breaking some kind of commitment or some kind of reevaluation of a belief system. To the Ten of Pentacles. Future, home, foundation, um, achieving what you want to achieve in your life, your money, your bank account, your security. Ten is the number of completion. Pentacles are about your well-being, okay? Death in reverse, some kind of ending, change, transformation. The star in reverse, not purposeful or disconnected from intuition, perhaps. Five of Pentacles, poverty, uh, poverty consciousness, uh, poverty mentality. Left out in the cold, the Three of Cups, rejoicing and celebrating. The Ace of Wands in reverse, lacking motivation. The Six of Cups, the past, memories, home, nostalgia. The Empress in reverse, creative block or codependency. Justice, always in your best interest. The Five of Swords, holding on to something. The Sun, happiness, success, vitality. And the Two of Pentacles. Now let's see. Because see, now we're just kind of repeating here. Alchemist in reverse. Can you all see me doing that? You can't, can you? Okay. The Hermit in reverse. Strength. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of... Okay, it's all just repeating. I'm going to stop with strength, and we will address those when we get there, if we haven't covered it already. All right, you guys. What is going on here? A couple of things you need to know about me before we dive deep into this and lay it all out for you. That Wheel of Fortune and Death in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, is pretty pretty impressive read so far. So we're going to dive in and see what all the deets are about. I um, have a tendency to be irreverent sometimes, I swear. If that is a problem for any of y'all, by all means, bless your heart and just carry on. Just carry on, okay? We're just not meant for each other. Um, I smoke my vape on camera. If you don't like that, just carry on. Either keep your mouth shut, my own business, or carry on, right? We're not here to judge. I'm not judging you. You better not be judging me. So let's just get along and be happy, all right? All right, guys, let's dive into this and see what's happening. All right. So the three of wands, prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Have some foresight for what, Spirit? Prepare and have some foresight for what? For what? Oh. Prepare and have some foresight for what? You have to be a little bit more direct with me. A little more direct. There we go. Oh, you know, I really feel like I need to pay attention to that, too. All right. Prepare. Ships are coming in, six of swords in reverse, been stuck with some kind of baggage of some sort. Hmm. Huh. Wow. To the chariot, the page of swords in reverse, the wheel of fortune, the five of pentacles in reverse, the hierophant, and the knight of swords. Wow. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on right here, okay? The Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about having some foresight. The, uh, the universe wants to bless you. There is something coming in that you have been waiting for for a good long minute. 
and it's finally here. It's within sight. It's right there on the horizon, and these ships are coming your way. The Three of Wands is about not only having some foresight, but it's about partnerships and alliances as well, okay? So the tone of this reading is get ready, okay? Get ready, have some foresight to what it is that perhaps you don't see, and begin to prepare yourself. That is the theme of this reading, okay? Prince of Wands in reverse, where there has been no inspired action, or perhaps you have had some kind of frustration and delays. Seven of Wands in reverse in an area of your life that you have pretty much given up on. Six of Swords in reverse says there has been no forward movement. Perhaps you're stuck in life all the way around. Six of Swords in reverse is about baggage, okay? And what I think this is saying is that it's your own baggage that is keeping you from, from some kind of inspiration about the potential of your future. The chariot. Put in some self-control, some willpower, and some determination to make the decisions that are going to result in the actions that are going to propel you into your future. Page of Swords in reverse. We don't have time for all talk, no action, undelivered promises. We don't have time for you to linger in some kind of doubt-filled mentality to the Wheel of Fortune because your steps are being divinely orchestrated because now is the time. Now is the time. There is a turning point in your life. Now is the time. Prepare yourself. Get ready. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Either someone's coming out of the cold to talk to you about something or you are coming out of some kind of financial pinch, okay? Either this turning point is financial for you, or it is about um, reconciling some kind of wounded relationship from your past. The Hierophant. Perhaps it was a committed relationship that is now coming back around full circle. Perhaps it is a contract or an obligation or an offer of some sort to um, some kind of permanence, some kind of, of commitment to the Knight of Swords. There is some communication that's going to come into you very, very quickly. And it's also very important that you wrap your mind around an understanding and execute it in your life. What is the understanding? It's time to prepare. You need to begin to get ready, okay? You need to begin to get ready. The fool in reverse, what's the problem? Why, what, is the, what is the urgency? Why are they talking about you? Well, the fool in reverse, um, you're being foolish. You're being foolish, okay? Being foolish. Lovers in reverse, you're being foolish by holding on to hurt from the past in some kind of a relationship, significant relationship in your life. Work family, love, whatever your thing is. The king of swords in reverse, holding on to some kind of salty angriness. To the high priestess in reverse, it blocks your vibration. When you hold on to negativity, when you hold on to negative emotions, you vibrate low. And Spirit is saying you are foolish to hold on to whatever this, this ruined relationship was in the past because holding on to that creates a low vibration. And when you're in low vibration, you manifest low. And maybe that's why you're like giving up on things. And Spirit says, no, you got to have some foresight because you have the power to turn this around. Start vibrating on the high instead of vibrating on the low. The high priestess in reverse. We can't, you can't hear us when you're vibrating low because they are vibrating like at the highest high, right? And the highest high and the lowest low, they, they don't jive together. Spirit says you can't hear us. We're trying to talk to you, but you can't hear us because anger and pain from the past somehow, some way, 
is keeping, uh, is making you tone deaf. Three of Pentacles. There is teamwork and collaboration about to enter into your life. Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles. There is some kind of partnership, alliance, union, teamwork, and collaboration that's coming into your life. Okay? To the Seven of Cups. When I asked if this was happening to you or within you, the Seven of Cups was my answer. This is your options, choices, and decisions about this particular situation. So it's coming from within you, okay? And the high priestess in reverse says you're not listening to your intuition. Why? Seven of swords in reverse. Because you're blocking your ability to manifest. You're, you're in the way of this turning point that's coming into your life. And that's what this is about. It's about, hey, get out the way. There is something significant trying to enter into your life. And if you don't have enough foresight, you're going you're gonna to miss it. You know, there's a lot of people on, on YouTube tarot that say what's meant for you will always be yours. And I just don't buy it. I think it's bullshit. I think if you are not paying attention to the direction of your path and the way that spirit is trying to lead you, you can absolutely miss the boat. Absolutely. Might it come around again? I don't know. Maybe. But right now you're going to miss it if you stay in a futile mindset. Seven of Swords says to break free from a futile mindset. What is that? The foolishness of holding on to the lovers in reverse. The Princess of Swords. Possibly communication coming into you. Also possibly the need to plant new seeds in your mind. Okay? To the Queen of Wands. To plant new seeds in your mind. To be able to readjust yourself. So you can be successful in the, in the pursuit of achievement and success. This queen of wands could also be the person who is coming to you to offer you some kind of coming out of the cold um, commitment of some sort. Okay. Nine of pentacles. Stand in your power. This is independence, self-sufficiency. What is this? Well, nine is the number of attainment. Ten is the number of completion, okay? Um, the pentacles is about well-being, okay? So the attainment of well-being, what this is saying is find peace within yourself. Stand in your power, stand up straight, brush yourself off, and realize that there is so much more for you than ruminating in some kind of relationship that wasn't ready or supposed to be at the time anyway. Chariot in reverse says this is a blockage in your life. It is a blockage. You cannot get in this chariot over here that is going to take you to the turning point of the Wheel of Fortune and point you in the direction of some kind of significant commitment in your life if you don't put in the willpower, the self-control, and the determination to do something about the low-vibrating, downtrodden energy that you are stuck in in this place in your life. Hold on. Everybody get a drink. Ready? Cheers. Smoke break. All right. The Queen of Swords. This is how you need to snap to it. Okay? Snap to it. Queen of Swords. She's an archetype, right? Of course, nobody can be the Queen of Swords. She minds every single thought that goes through her head constantly, constantly, constantly accountable to the thoughts that go through her mind. That is why she is the queen of swords, okay? Where does manifestation begin? It begins in your mind. We can't manifest anything, nothing, until it's a thought, right? So the queen of swords says, get yourself under control. Get your mind under control. Pull your mind out of the foolishness and the waste of energy, of, of, of wallering in some broken relationship, whether it be family, love, or work from the past, Get your mind straight. Page of Pentacles. Because it's time to manifest. There is a new opportunity coming directly at you. And you need to be sharp and on point to be able to recognize it. 
the sun in reverse because if you don't see it, it's going to affect your long-term happiness, success, and vitality to the star. Spirit says, this is the way, this is the path, this is how we are leading you. We are leading you into a place of renewal. We are leading you to a turning point in your life where you have been frustrated. We are trying to show you the way to go. It's time for us to divinely orchestrate the steps. These people are ready. Those people are ready. Everything is in place, but you, okay? You got to get on board. The star is a card about knowing that there is a higher power, not always understanding it, but having faith that there is and having an understanding that they are always going to lead you to your best and highest good. Always, every single time. That's why you have to follow your intuition with the high priestess in reverse right here, right? This low vibrational bullshit makes you tone deaf. Spirit says, snap out of it, get your mind straight, and come on with it, okay? Come on with it. We need you. The seven of wands. What is your challenge? Boom, the king of wands in reverse. Your ego. Your ego is the challenge. Why? Because the ego wants to ruminate in a relationship that didn't go the way that you thought it was going to go. The ego wants to keep you there. What else could it be? It's definitely not spirit keeping you here. Definitely not spirit keeping you wallering in some kind of pain from your past. I can absolutely freaking guarantee you that. Because the star says it's time to get out of this. The chariot says it's time to go. The wheel of fortune says there is a turning point right in front of you, but you're wallering. In what? Your ego. What's the ego rooted in? The devil. Just as much as your spirituality is rooted in the high priestess, your ego is rooted in the devil. Your challenge in this situation is to check your ego and tell it to take a back seat so you can get back in touch with your spirituality and turn this high priestess in the upright so you will see the signs and the synchronicities around you about the direction that you're supposed to go for your best and highest good. The Knight of Pentacles. You've been stuck in it for a long time. To the Five of Swords. Win at all costs mentality. You are pissed off, hurt, wounded, whatever you are, that this lovers in reverse did not work out for you. And you're mad. And Spirit says that's your blockage. You have to let go of that. And know that if it was meant for you, it would still be. All Win at all costs, right? Fighting defeat to the world. Spirit says it's time for this cycle of your life to close. And it's time for a new cycle to open. You must do some critical self-analysis so you can get to the root of your blockage so you can be set free to step into your destiny. See that? Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about reevaluation. A reevaluation of yourself, your life, your motivations. Just a complete and total reevaluation is what's being called for right here. Ten of Wands, of the burden and the struggle that you carry in regards to that lovers in reverse right there. Eight of Pentacles says, it's time to begin to engage, work, and focus on some things. You need to work out this issue, reflect and assess, observe your own motivations, regroup, reorganize, figure out what's in that burden and struggle that you keep carrying that's worth carrying it. And begin to work on a different aspect of yourself so you can get yourself together to be prepared to participate in whatever it is that's going to go down in your life. And boom, the second wheel of fortune. In the center of your reading, this whole reading revolves around a massive, massive turning point in your life. Through divine orchestration, may I add. To the Six of Pentacles. Not only are you going to have enough, but you're going to have more than enough. That's where this is taking you. 
That's where this turning point is taking you. This Hierophant right here is directly responsible for the Six of Pentacles. Whatever this communication offer is about uh, friendships, money, career, work, love, whatever this Hierophant is right here is directly responsible for the overflowing abundance that the Wheel of Fortune is trying to take you to. Whether your idea of overflowing abundance would be love, whether your idea of overflowing abundance is career and money, whether your idea of overflowing abundance is a new pair of shoes, okay? The Wheel of Fortune wants to take you there. Knight of Cups in reverse to the Eight of Cups in reverse. But you are not in the game. You are stuck in your emotions. Your emotions are running the show in your life right now. And you can't make any important decisions off of emotions. You just can't. You just can't. Any decisions that are based off of pure, unadulterated emotion are usually bad decisions. True. They're not balanced. Any decision that's made strictly off of overthinking a situation isn't balanced. Any decision that's made strictly off of your own selfish well-being is off balance. Any decision that's made out of the fire energy, right? That, that is just a passionate, boof, kind of, you know, blow up decision isn't balanced. And right now you are not balanced because your emotions are not balanced with the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. King of Pentacles comes on top of this. This King of Pentacles could be whom it is that's coming in to talk to you or give you some kind of a message somehow, some way. This King of Pentacles, death in reverse, could be the direct catalyst to create a massive transformation in your life. This whole reading is about a massive transformation. I might even call this massive transformation. This is a massive transformation of your life. This King of Pentacles could represent you, seated in power, in a place of success, ambitions, goals, comfort, to death in reverse. This could be where it is that this chariot is going to take you if you can wrap your mind around what needs to be done so you can have a personal transformation. General reading. If this was your reading, I'd be able to tell you exactly what this is, but I don't know what this is, so I can't tell you, okay? The only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read, and that's the God's honest truth. The Hierophant in reverse. Your belief system needs to be reevaluated, okay? The belief system that you're standing on now is not working for you, and it needs to be completely overhauled and reevaluated. One of the ways to do that is to give back all of this hurt back here with the lovers in reverse, right? Give it back. Just give it back. You don't got to hold on to it. It's not yours to hold on to. What's keeping you there is your ego. And the ego and the spiritual cannot commingle because one wants complete and utter control and the other one is all about completely not having control. The Hierophant in reverse. Reevaluation of your belief system. Why? The Fool in reverse. Because the way you're going about it right now is foolish. Whatever you're ruminating on or holding on to in some kind of angst or anger, it is foolish. It's the second time that Spirit is telling you that what it is you believe right now about something significant in your life directly related to some kind of relationship that has ended you are a fool and you are wasting time by holding on to something that is not yours. Four of Wands in reverse. And it's creating a lack of peace and contentment in your life. To the Hangman in reverse. Your resistance is creating delays and stalling in everything that it is that you're trying to manifest. Because you're vibrating low. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is your future. It's completion, right? You're the Nine of Pentacles back here, somewhere up here. You're the Nine of Pentacles, right? Fulfillment. 
The Ten of Pentacles is completion. It's getting to where it is that you want to be. It is the be all to end all in a sense of well-being. Death in reverse. This is where they want to take you. This is where the two wheel of fortunes, the world and this death in reverse and the star is trying to get you to. The Ten of Pentacles, whatever that means for you. Whatever your ultimate completion and your sense of well-being would be, that's where spirit wants to take you. But you have to grab on to this personal transformation of letting go of the ego. Remember, your challenge is the ego. You've been stuck in it for a long time. Been stuck in it for a long time. A win at all costs, not going to let go of some kind of angst that you have. World says it's time to go. There's a new cycle ahead of you and it's time to go. We want to lead you to the Ten of Pentacles, but you have to embrace the transformation that we are talking about here. Two of Wands in order for you to build your future. The star in reverse. What you are doing right now is not purposeful in your life. You are disconnected from your mission. Why? Because you're serving the ego and not serving the spiritual. To the two of swords in reverse, you're at a crossroads and you don't even know it because you're so consumed with low vibrational bullshit that you can't even hear spirit talking to you. Five of pentacles, insecurity, lack mentality to the empress in reverse blocks all creation. There you go. Right there. This is it. Lack mentality. Oh, poor me. It should have been different. It could have been different. It would have been different. I'm mad that it didn't work out. I'm angry that they treated me the way that they treated me. I am, I am, I am, I am. Guess what? It's not about you. It is not about you. Sorry to say. And that's what the ego over here is trying to say. It's not about you. It's about what you came here to do and how you need to get it done. And this is the roadmap to at least get on the path of some massive turning point in your life. But you have to have some kind of massive turning point in your life. Critical self-analysis is the only thing that takes us out of one cycle and puts us into another cycle. It's the only thing. When you finally get sick of your own bullshit, that's when you do some critical self-analysis and you eliminate certain things in your life. And spirit is telling you so loud and clear, this needs to be eliminated. This, this lack mentality, lack mentality, whatever it might be. I don't have love. Nobody loves me. I don't have money. I don't have a job. I'm insecure. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. I got a flat tire. Whatever your thing is, is manifesting in the negative to the empress in reverse and it is an absolute screeching halt blockage to any kind of manifestation or creation that you wish you had in your life because what you're doing is manifesting this over and over and over again in your life gotta let go gotta move on Gotta let go. You gotta move on. Three of Cups. Three of Cups is about reuniting, coming together. Perhaps you could be reuniting with someone or something from your past, an employer from your past, a relationship from your past, whether it be love, family, or friends. But the Three of Cups is joy and celebration. The Three of Cups is meeting people. And perhaps this, this transformation that they're trying to get you to, to undertake is going to set you up. Perhaps this divine orchestration that's going on here is culminating in this three of cups. You need to be where it is that you need to be doing what you need to be doing in order for this door to open for you so you can step through the threshold into the next phase of your life. Ace of Wands in reverse. But without your cooperation, this is a lack of motivation, without your cooperation, eight of swords, all tied up in your head in fear. And that's what you're manifesting. Remember, we can't manifest anything without it being a thought. Guess what you're manifesting in your life? Fear and mental imprisonment over something that has happened to you in the past. 
Three of Cups comes on top of this and says you have to be freed of this Eight of Swords energy in order to get right what needs to get right so you can step over and keep going to the Six of Cups. Reuniting, reconciling, the Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia, memories, reconciling the past, people from your past, to the Ten of Cups, warm, fuzzy, happiness, the King of Cups, honest and fair in your emotions. Perhaps this is someone that at one point you had the Ten of Cups with in the past and they want to reunite with you and they're coming in to reunite with you. Hmm. to the nine of swords but all you can manifest is anxiety and despair and perhaps this nine of swords is saying when this person does come in or situation does come back around it fills you with anxiety and despair but the four of swords says you have to contemplate you have to contemplate reevaluate second time it's said to reevaluate The Four of Swords, can you guys see that? No. The Four of Swords, see the Three of Swords hanging behind him on the wall? Where's that from? It's from the Three of Swords. What's the Three of Swords about? Grief, sorrow, and pain. Those swords right there, they're labeled, they're not really labeled, but they're labeled grief, sorrow, and pain. The guy laying there hung him up. He has hung up his grief, his sorrow, and his pain. And he is coming to terms with it and himself. And then he's going to get up and he's going to grab this fourth sword, which is going to bring stability to his mental processes. And he is going to push forward beyond the grief, the sorrow, and the pain. It's going to get his mind straight. And that's where your mind has to be in order to be able to manifest into your future. The lovers in reverse. This is just not productive for your life. Whatever this was for you, the sun in reverse says that you have been downtrodden ever since. What you're not seeing clearly is the empress in reverse. It's an absolute and complete blockage to your co-creation with the universe. Life is happening to you. You are not happening to life. And that is a very slippery slope. The Ace of Wands in reverse, lacking any kind of motivation. The wheel says, man, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. It is the third time you have had the Wheel of Fortune in this spread. It is time. Three Wheel of Fortunes, the Star, the High Priestess in reverse, Death in reverse twice, the World, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, what more do you want? Spirit wants to give you the desires of your heart, but your ego is holding on to something that shoulda, coulda, woulda, but isn't meant to be or wasn't at that time. The Wheel of Fortune says there's a turning point and it's justice. It's justice for your life. It's justice for this situation. I think that you're going to talk to whomever it is that this lovers is in reverse. I think you're going to talk with them. I think they're going to come back. They want to reunite and they want to work something out with you. That's what I think that this is all about. Remember, career, job, money, finance, love, relationships, marriages, um, friends, family, right? Justice. Spirit says it is in your best interest for you to get out of this funk and get back into life. Justice is also about your accountability for your journey. Five of Swords, win at all costs mentality, fighting defeat every, two, every, every step of the way, tooth and nail, because you didn't think that this lovers in reverse should have ended somehow, some way sun comes on top of it and says, we're trying to lead you towards happiness, success, and vitality. We're trying to show you the way, but you're not listening because your low vibration is making you tone deaf. See clearly two of pentacles and begin to prioritize and balance out what it is that we're telling you here. Queen of cups in reverse, 
hurt feelings. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Lacking ambition or focus or hurt feelings because of what you thought was supposed to be one way, but it wasn't. Ace of Cups in reverse. All kinds of repressed emotions. Queen of Wands in reverse. Salty and angry. The Alchemist in reverse. A direct blockage to anything that you're trying to manifest in your life. Anything. The Hermit in reverse. Isolated, withdrawn, not in communion with spirit. And straight comes back on top of this and says, you must overcome your demon in order to, to use it as a stepping stone instead of a stumbling block. So there's something amazing coming towards you. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Three wheel of fortunes, the world, death in reverse twice, the star, the ten of pentacles, the hierophant. There is something amazing coming towards you, but you must get out of your mental funk in order to be able to participate in the direction that it wants to take you. And if you don't, free will. If you keep doing what you've always done, you will continue to get what you've always gotten. And if you're cool with it, then by all means, disregard this whole thing and you just keep on trucking, sister, brother. But if you want to change the way that things are going in your life, this is the roadmap to do it. Whatever this pain is for you back there with two lovers in reverse. If you want your own cards read, hit me up at the gypsypsychic.com. Schedule you an appointment. I am um, blocked off until Monday because I have a competition with my horse and um, I'll be gone all weekend. But I have uh, freed up my schedule for YouTube video readings um, next week. So you should be able to find something that could fit your schedule for next week. Okay. If you have any questions about this, do not make decisions off of my general tarot card readings or anybody else's. Okay. Get your own cards read, whether it's me or not. And um, get out of the ego. Come back home to spirituality and spirit will show you the way. And you have an absolutely phenomenal, amazing, amazing future ahead of you. Namaste.